Hey guys, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm. I've got another book haul for you today. This one's not going to be quite as big as the last two, but there's still three very exciting books here, so I hope you're ready for them. The first one I got sent from the author, Karen Slaughter herself. She sent me pieces of her. This is her brand new novel. I, in the past, have not found a Karen Slaughter book that I've thoroughly enjoyed. I've read Pretty Girls and The Good Daughter and while I think her writing has been absolutely phenomenal there's just something in them I don't I, I can't really put my finger on what it is but I just don't find her stories quite as captivating as I think they they could be even though they are gruesome they're gory and her writing is spectacular there's just something in the missing for me but I've heard that this one is so different so I am really looking forward to it this book is about a mother called Laura Laura is the definition of the perfect home, small town mum she's a business owner a speech therapist she's really one with the community she never keeps secrets from anyone or so they think so when her daughter is attacked viciously in a mall the way that she reacts is polar opposite to who she is as a person and that's because she was a different person about 30 years ago and now the next day after this attack Laura ends up in hospital because someone that's been trying to track her down for all these years has now found her and she's been shot. So we learn who Laura was once upon a time and just her daughter kind of un unravels her story of before she was born and it's it, it's crazy apparently and I'm really looking forward to it. I am actually also busy reading another Karen Slaughter book right now, the first book in the Grant County series called Blindsided and so far I must say it's probably my favourite Karen Slaughter to date. It's also incredibly gory and graphic. This Georgia small town professor is found brutally murdered in a diner. We follow this woman called Sarah, I think she's the coroner, and she's busy doing an autopsy. And then the real like twisted way that this woman was raped and murdered and just destroyed, it all gets revealed and it becomes apparent that this is not a one-time thing we could be dealing with a complete sociopath that's going to strike again. Of all the Karen Slaughter books I have read, I must say I think Pretty Girl so far is my least favourite, which is odd because so many people say how wonderful it is, well, you know, they are really dark and gory and overly descriptive in some parts, but it's beautifully written. I mean, it, there's just something about them I didn't find was for me, but I am enjoying them a lot more. Maybe it's just that I'm just getting into the way she writes now that is getting more interesting, but as I said, pieces of her sound so different and I am really excited to get into it. I think what I find about Karen Slaughter's books is that the beginnings are phenomenal and just so descriptive, exceptional really, but then it, even though it's still action-packed and very dark and very atmospheric, it just becomes quite slow-paced and you don't, you know, you're busy trying to figure out what's happened, but they're extremely thick books for the most part and I just find that they maybe go on a bit too long. Uh, I don't know, but let me know what you think about Karen Slaughter as an author. I, I appreciate everyone's opinions and I, 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 like I said, I am getting more into it as I mature as a reader. The next book I received was sent to me by Hatchet Australia and that's The Other Sister by Elle Croft. She wrote The Guilty Wife, which I'd seen in the bookshop so many times. It has like a really awesome cover with a broken or a smashed wine glass and then like wine spilled everywhere that kind of looks like blood. So obviously I thought that looked really cool but I've never picked it up. Don't know why. This is about a girl called Gina who is just obsessed about becoming a newsreader. But the only person that can help her, her boss, won't help her and just won't let it happen for her and I think that's horrible when someone has that authority over you which, oh, I just want to fuck them up. So walking home one night Gina stumbles across this dead body and she decides instead of reporting it straight away to the police she reports it live so she takes matters into her own hands and she becomes her own news reporter and that's pretty ballsy but I like her as a main character for that. But then as time goes on Another dead body is discovered by Gina and she realises that she's starting to be targeted and somehow it's all tied in with the death of her younger sister years ago. So, sounds pretty creepy. I'm excited. 
The next book was also sent to me by the author and that is Caroline Ovington's The Ones You Trust and I'm very excited about this because this author is coming onto our podcast Books and Booze very soon for an author interview. We've got quite a few authors lined up actually and I'm so excited but let me explain this book to you first because I love this cover, this colour is amazing and it sounds riveting. This book is a psychological suspense thriller about a woman called Emma. She's a celebrity mother, she's got everything going for her, but one day her young daughter disappears from preschool or something and she's seen on CCTV footage leaving with someone Emma has never met. Obviously because she's famous she's thinking, god is this like some crazy obsessed fan or is it a kidnapping, what's going on? I recently read and loved The Perfect Mother by Amy Molly and this book kind of sounds a little bit similar so I'm looking forward to it because I literally could not put that book down. I'm very excited for it. So they're the books that I got, I'm really excited to read them and now I just want to give you a quick update about my bookish podcast with my co-host Kiara. We have now got business cards. They look amazing. They've got our details on the back. I'm just so thrilled with them. We've just sold our first shirt. It's It's got our logo on, this Books and Boots logo. I'm just so thrilled and happy with the way it's going. It's growing so fast. We've got one of these authors coming onto the show. We've also got Chris Hammer that wrote Scrublands. We've got Ali Land who wrote Give Me Bad Me. It's going places and I'm so thrilled. So please come and support us. I'll leave all the links down below. Have a good day. Bye!